The deer may be a ruminant animal that's a part of the herbivorous mammals. The young deer has no wood, they're going to appear in its first year within the sort of two branches on all sides of his head. The woods are covered with velvet, which is filled with blood vessels. This plume is extremely sensitive, so take care to not hit the trees and he takes precautions when walking within the forest. At the top of August this velvet tears and falls. That's why he rubs his woods on everything around him to urge obviate it faster. In February, his plume will fall and push another stronger and stronger. Until his fourth year this process are going to be renewed and he will keep this last attribute until his death. It's therefore wrong to mention that one can know the age of a deer by counting its ramifications. From the age of 14 the stag has get older and its woods more fragile, it's then that they break at the ends. The most famous species in North America are Virginia deer and burrow deer. A Eurasian species has been introduced in British Columbia. He's called the deer. Fall is that the season of affection for the deer. Old males watch their herd of females. They service and day to stay any male from approaching his beautiful, who sometimes count to the amount of 30. The fighting between males are noisy due to the woods that clash. They're rarely mortal unless the woods intermingle. Both belligerents then die of exhaustion. The fertilization period of the feminine is extremely short, half each day. This era is extremely demanding for males, monitoring, mating and fighting prevent them from eating and that they can lose 20 kilograms during this era of your time. The young males enjoy the very fact that the older ones are exhausted to possess their chance of reproduction. Winter is spent trying to survive by all means. All that is still is bark and a few plants for all sharing. Some forest workers lay food to assist deer over winter. The deer sleep in the undergrowth and that they come per annum to an equivalent mating place albeit it's a really long drive. After a gestation of eight and a half months, the females will give birth in June. The fawn is already standing one half hour after birth. He will remain alone and immobile during the primary days, the mother will return only to feed him. Don't go near him, because the mother will smell the human smell and abandon her baby. As soon as he's strong enough on his feet he will join the horde together with his mother. The male is named a deer, the feminine a doe. The lifespan of the deer is up to 25 years but few of them are older than 15 or 16 years.